Hello, everyone. Welcome to Trials to Triumph. I'm Pastor Brad Kloster. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of what we're doing. And whether you are watching us on YouTube or Facebook, um, or maybe somebody sent this to you, I hope that these are helpful to you. Hope they bring you strength and encouragement for the day that we're living in. And we're talking about potential, which basically means possibility. If you have potential, you have possibility. There, there's something on the inside of you that is possible that is not there yet. You know, I think of like a seed, for example. A seed has great potential because there's possibility, there's life in there. And in that seed, it could grow a great, a great large tree that all started with one little tiny seed. And it's the potential that was inside that seed that brought that to life. And so that's what's on the inside of you and I. You and I have potential on the inside of us. And stored down deep, we can do something great that I believe that God wants to do in each and every one of us. But we probably don't even realize uh, how powerful the plans that God has for us are. Now, I want to read you a verse tonight. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 is where we're going to be. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and I'm going to wor- uh, look at verse 18. So 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. If it's safe that you can do this and look at it with me, go ahead. If you want to just uh, listen along, you're welcome to do that as well. This is what it says. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Now, this is very difficult, I know, because the things we can see are right in front of our face. And everything that your eyes take in today, everything from the minute you wake up until the minute you go to bed, most of all of that is temporary. And most all of that has no eternal value. Even this, this recording or this video that you're watching right now, this live stream, even this is, even though there's eternal value in what's being said, uh, the video itself has no eternal value. And so the things that we can see Everything we can see when you look around this room, when you look around wherever you're sitting, it's all temporary. And it's, that means it's not, it's not going to last. And the things which we see with our natural eye is temporary, but the things we don't see with our natural eye, the things that we see with our spiritual eye, those are the things that are going to last. But see what happens with our potential is we end up looking at all the things we can see. And if we can see it, or if we've experienced it, then we try to define what the rest of our life will look like based on something we've already seen or experienced. But how are you ever going to reach potential if you're basing everything on something you've already experienced? If you've already done it, if you've already encountered it, if you've already done these things, that of course that you're never going to reach that you're never going to reach your full potential because you're going to limit yourself to what you've already seen or experienced. That's good preaching right there, and I don't want you to fall into that same trap. See, if we are constantly looking at ourselves, and constantly looking with what we see right in front of us, it's impossible that we'll ever reach where God has for us because we're focused on things that are temporary. We're focused on things that are are right in front of our face but aren't going to last long. But instead, we need to focus our eyes, our attention on the King of Kings, on the Lord of Lords, who planted potential, who created us in his image, and he caused us to be more than overcomers in this life. In fact, the book of 1 Corinthians says that God chose the foolish things of the world. Uh, he chose 
those things to take down the things which are which are mighty and that's where you and I come in because we want to say well I'm not good enough well you know what if you're not good enough then you fit exactly into the category of somebody who God can use because God said he would use the the foolish things or the small things or the insignificant things to do to accomplish great things on this earth and so you and I must learn to stop looking at ourselves because what do you see? Let's be honest. What do you see when you look in the mirror? You probably don't look in the mirror and say, what a mighty man of God. What a mighty woman of God. You probably look in the mirror and you, you name off all the reasons why you're not able. All the reasons why you're not good enough. All the reasons why you'll never measure up or whatever, the, whatever it is that you come up with for yourself. That's what we see. But when you start to see on the inside... I mean, you and I know we, we are in flesh and blood. We have to acknowledge the fact that we're living in flesh and blood, and there are limitations on that. I can't just go say, well, I'm going to go fly tomorrow and jump off the side of the building. I'm not going to last long. However, in the spiritual realm, in the supernatural realm, you can say, I do have limitations because I'm a natural human. But with God in this situation, this, I can overcome this. And that's the point of this tonight is helping us see, get our focus, get our attention off of the things that you can see right in front of our face and get your attention back on God. And God can help you, like I say all the time, God can help turn your trial into triumph because he's starting to help you see the eternal things and not the temporary things. And I pray that each and every one of us, that's what happens for us that we get our attention off the temporary and get it on the eternal so that we can see our trials turn into triumph. Hey, thanks for joining me tonight. Sure is good to have you with me. Leave me a comment or a note to let me know that you're watching, and we'll see you again next time on our Trials to Triumph.